Uh, there's a full time. I think. A uh, of United squad. I think it was one of them games. We're not going to do it in that way against United. Unfortunately, today sometimes it works, but sometimes it doesn't. I think that they could have had two. But and before I do that, let me just uh, let's do this bit. It's end of the game. It's one 0 Man United, and we are now going to look at the fan reaction. Get your reactions in. Before I ask Jared and Johnny Tate, this is your chance to write your comments while they speak shit, and then I'll speak shit, and then eventually we'll, we'll end the game. And then tell us your man of the match, and I'll put the man of the match up as well. So Elvis, first yes, half, sir. second half, referees, lots of things to talk about. What was your take on that match? That second half, I'm quite deflated. But yeah. Going into that half time, like just the whole first half, the bonkers it were. I was well up for this second half, thinking, right, we're going to come out and, you know, that give uh, some intensity. But we just nothing. We just sat back, just didn't back too much pressure. And then obviously they got a lucky goal, but um, just uh, frustrating that second half. And I still think Vids, Vids and Rodriguez should have come in a lot earlier. You know, yeah, that's, I, that's that's one thing what does frustrate me. Like eighty minute, wait, eightieth minute when Vids come on, it's like why don't you just take? It weren't happening for Wood, you know. In all fairness, so why don't you just take him off at like seventieth, seventy fifth minute, you know? And even when he took Brady off so early, you know what I mean? Why don't you make a? Because McNeil didn't really do much, did he? When he come on, in all fairness. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, no, I agree with that, mate. It's difficult one minute because. I think that Vid would do well, but he didn't take his he didn't take his chances today, unfortunately. Yeah, he, he had that perfect couple of especially that last one, perfect opportunity to stamp his place. Say, come on, yeah. Sean, pick me. I think Brady gets a an hard press getting taken off at sixtieth minute, but um when you've got Dwight McNeil on the bench, someone's coming off for him because yeah. he's, he's too good to to I not think play. Think it might have been more with Goodmanson because obviously Goodmanson's uh, fitness. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't disagree with that. So, yeah, I can understand. But I think the subs the subs have always been an issue. It's not a recent thing, is it? Yeah, it's not a new thing. We're always pissed off with dietary <laughs> substitutions. I'll let you the fact, Tell him. The fact that he doesn't do it. The fact that it takes him sometimes 90th minute to bring on Jay Rodriguez. Yes. But, yeah, that's, that's it. Anything else to add to that one, Jared? But the frustrating thing is about this now is that it'll all be United, 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 this, this, this. Not actually how well, we, especially in that first half, we actually played and, you know, we give them a game. You know, 1-0. You know what I mean? I thought, if anything, yeah. we can walk away from that and think, you know, we didn't get absolutely demolished, did we? You know, we've got a good... Yeah, I think we let them have the ball too much. Um, but they weren't doing a lot with it at one point, so yeah, fair enough. Go on, Johnny. I think, I think it's hard to be a little bit deflated, you know, like, like Jared said at 1-0, but I don't think you, I don't think you can, I, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not that bothered about getting beat 1-0, I thought we played well, I thought, when I seen the starting line, I thought, here we go, this could be 2-3-0 United, you know, but first half, we're really good, second half, we just haven't come out at all, have we, to be honest, created very little chances apart from when we did start making a couple of changes, I mean, United had all the ball, they didn't really do a great deal weird. It's not like they've had 20 clear-cut chances throughout the game. Uh, I think points would have been a fair result. Yeah. But I'm not, yeah. I'm not too deflated. At the end of the day, we've played United to the top of the league. We've got world-class players throughout. Um, we haven't been embarrassed. It's been, I, I think there's a lot of positive you can take from that. But we do need to start converting some chances. I mean, the one that fell to Tarky at the end, You've got to be connecting with that, at least forcing a save. And that's, yeah. the, that's the things that get you to mid-table and not lingering around the relegation zone, putting that odd chance away, which we are struggling yeah. to do at the minute. And it's yeah, the only right. thing that is worrying for me is that a striker's just aren't scoring. And it's okay. They don't even look like scoring. But that doesn't just come from them. It comes from the whole team. You've got to get them chances. You've got to create stuff. And we just don't seem to be doing it at the minute. As a lot of people have said, though, maybe it's time just for a change. What do you just mean? Yeah, we, I, I think we'll try maybe and get a couple started. of players, but I think we need to try and look at changing the no, system. I mean, the system of the players. I'll start a dash out brigade again. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, you know, maybe starting Rodriguez, you know, maybe drop one just for one or two games just to, because uh, of, you know, just try something a bit different. I but think then we need again, to change the system, mate. Like, I think we're 4 4 2. 
and he's brought McNeil on for Brady. And it's like, why not just take Wood? If you want to take Wood off, put McNeil yeah. in behind Barnes. Just try something different for a change. We're not going to lose. Not losing anything, are we? It's just like I say, it's just like for like all the time. Yeah. You're not changing yeah, yeah. anything when you're one down against you can't. You're just changing player for player. They're still going to play their same system. But I say, you know, it was a pretty good performance, I thought, overall. The second half was shit, but yeah, too bad. Brilliant. I think Brady um, going off gave Dwight McNeil sort of a free reign in the middle as well, which was interesting. Like you said, he could have played him in the middle without taking Brady off. But yeah. he looks more threatening in the middle. For me, I've said it from last season, at the beginning of last season, I said I'd like to see him try a number 10 role. I said it again this season. Uh, but there's a lot to talk about, so we'll go quickly fire through it before I read the comments. One of the, th- sorry, just one of the things that's frustrating, though, is how you go up five games ago, and when we were like 1 0 down, you looked at the bench and we were like, you can't fucking change it because it's just kids. Mm. You can't do anything. But we had the opportunity to change it. We didn't. We had and the players it, on the bench for. to change it. It looked better. Uh, yeah. from the change. It doesn't make a difference well, how strong your bench is if you don't utilise it properly. Bring Rodriguez on yep. in the 87th minute is an absolute waste of time. You can't do anything. What can you do? You need to, as a yep. sub, you need to grow into the game a little bit. Give him a chance. 87 is a time wasting tactic bringing him on in the 87th minute. It's fucking pointless. So, pointless. Let's just look at it, right? Because they only won 1 0. It was a deflected goal. It went through the keeper's yeah. legs. You couldn't get much luckier of a goal, right? Yeah, it was a shit goal. Brady, um, Brady could have been sent off for what was a ridiculous challenge, but he got away with it purely because of Luke Shaw, who did not get sent off. Now, if he gets sent off at that point, at nil-nil, it is a completely different game. He had to that, make that challenge, me, though. No, I'm not on about Brady. I'm on about Shaw. What about Shaw? Shaw... All right, he said Brady. Got, yeah, no, I said Brady We did a ridiculous challenge, but that would not have happened... If it were for that, if that break, yeah, if the short one had been pulled back, and that is a red yeah, card a red. for me. Yeah. Uh, if Brady's was a red card, then I don't know if it was a red card to be fair. I'm, I'm probably contradicting myself there because I do think he touched the ball first, but I don't think it's a yellow card, it's either a red or it's nothing. That's my opinion. It's because um, he, he might touch the ball, but he's fucking nearly snapped his ankle. Hmm. Yeah, uh, that, and that's fair enough. I understand every sort of opinion on that matter, but if, if Luke Shaw's tackle was bad enough to bring that ball back that Brady didn't get sent off I'm looking for a red card there I'm looking for something significant to say even as a United fan you'd be like well fucking hell send Brady off as well yeah you'd be, you'd be thinking you can't drag that back and not punish Brady but for me yeah that was a red card if if the letter of the law is what it is um, if he gets sent off it's a completely different game yeah, it, totally you know, you're against ten men. We we we've we've done a job, and at that point of the game, let's be fair, it was a fifty fifty match. I think we had the first twenty minutes, they had the second twenty minutes of that first half, and then it was just five minutes of chaos in between it all. Um, yeah, I think it could have been a different game. Referee made decisions. However, Maguire goal for me should have stood, and for that reason, irrelevant of what my rest of my opinion is, that deflected goal, the Maguire goal prob- probably should have stood for me. It, it probably was a fair result. I'm disappointed because the last 10 minutes we walk up and it's, it looked like we could get back into the game then. Uh, first 20 minutes, last 10 minutes, it's only it's only a third of a game. It's not enough to get a, a point for me in this game against the United. I That's disagree that Maguire's goal should have stood. It were a fucking... Yeah. Like a fucking change for it. Fouls. That's mm. amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I completely understand that like, everyone's opinion on it. I just think that it's a good header, though. I just think it's a good header. He's jumped. Peters has committed and not got there, and he's good, ended up over the top of him. I don't know if it was a foul, but anyway, that that's that. Uh, I don't know what anyone else's opinions are, so let's have a look. Uh, going back to the man of the match ones, we'll start from up there. Ben me, Ben me, Vidra me, me. Ben Mee, uh, Ben Mee, Loughton, especially for the first half. Uh, Barnes was back to his, what we expect from him today. Put his cell about, got some free kicks, not really had much service. I agree with that. He won some, but you mentioned it with the, uh, 
when he was playing at right mid and I think it was Gummerson just dinked it over and he ended up getting hold of that. It, what, what's he meant to do with that? Um, Barnsworth starting just for free kicks alone. Uh, Richard Pedley, teams now know how we are going to play, which is probably why Wood isn't getting the service. Bids and Jay to start for me. Uh, Barnes and Vidra next game. Barnes with us uh, wins us free kicks. Vidra has the pace to get the balls in the channels. Wood never gets uh, and then when Vidra and Rodriguez come on, we play 10 times more attacking football. Now, there's probably an answer in your own sentence there, mate. We did we played attacking football, but does that work necessarily in the defensive aspects that we've got as well? Uh, Laura's asked who Fulham have got next. It's Tottenham on Wednesday, I think, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow night, is it? Yeah. Um, Chris Lambert said a shot on target would have been nice, and I fully, fully agree with that. Um, there's a, f- a fair few comments to go for here. If you'd have asked me before kickoff how I feel about be- getting beat 1 0, I'd have bitten your hand off. I think I'd have accepted it. Um, James Smith put Dwight being pushed defensive is pointless. He's an attacking player, and in that sort of game, he needs to be playing as a number 10 role. Not, um, I don't know why he's not doing it in that type of game. United goal was our own doing. We stu- we were sitting too deep. I agree with that. We we were inviting that on. Uh, and then I'll just read one more. Robert Brent Benson has put we need to add for more service from wide left. Looks as uh, look at the goals he made for his last. I do agree. With it. Oh, Sam is frozen. Has he gone? Has his internet gone? Looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, Gemma, thank you very much for listening to Turk. I thought you've enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have to play some of that on hold music now? Yeah. That lift music. Can you see the comments, Jared? Because I can't see Yeah. Um, I'm just looking. I don't even know where Sam got up to. Right, Simon's gone. Okay. Uh, Laura said, I don't feel sh- as shit when we get battered by City. It's not soul destroying. Lots of positives could easily have gone differently. Yeah, feel free to give Simon a load of shit in the comments, by the way. Oh, he's back now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, anyway, I've got, I told you I got a surprise for you at the beginning again, didn't I? Oh, yeah. So, who do you say? I, I say Ben Mee got majority of the Man of the Match nominations mm. there. So, it's difficult to pick one for us. We can't decide one ourselves. So, I think we'll, it's fair to say we should go with the comments. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair enough. So, oh, there you yes. go, guys. Man of the uh, Match, Ben Mee there. We're little graphic. Lord. Check that out. It's cool. It's all right, is that? You like that? Well, I'm a little bit disappointed because it's not really a surprise for me. Well, no, but I made that. I made that for the for the team for all, all of us. All right, all right, yeah. You don't, yeah, it's, it's nice. But yeah, I'm slightly is... disappointed on a selfish oh, well. level. I'm not gonna lie, mate. I made twenty odd of them for every fucking player, <laughs> so I, I'm wondering about it. Um, but yeah, I, I wanted to do a goal one, but uh, Joe Joe weren't really sure, so I, I just did a man of the batch where I forced it on it. Why? Why is he not sure? I don't know. He just I think he wants it more animated, and I can't do that. I've tried to do it, but I couldn't do it. But I wanted one that just pops up saying goal and then like whoever the scorer is, there's a bit of different sort of animation on it. Get the Amazon Prime one on where they flash. They have the gifts, don't they? Yeah, I tried doing it like, well, like a, the old Batman thing where he goes, kapow. I couldn't, I couldn't, but I'm sorry. But anyway, there you go. There's <laughs> our man of the match. There's our reaction. Do us a favour. If you are confident enough to do it, if you are frustrated enough about what you have seen, Joe Red uh, would love it if you could send him in a match reaction of what you thought about that game. Was the referee right? Was he wrong? Are you happy with the result? Do you think that it was a fair result? Uh, how do you feel about going into the next game? Uh, Who is the next uh, game? West Ham. West Ham. West Ham. So how do you feel about going into the next game? Are you confident? Are you feeling like it needs a change? Are you frustrated? Let us know. Put a video. All we need is a 30 second to three minutes, however long you can do video. Just self-air. This is how I feel. That was like a big contrast. 
Yeah. yeah. 30, 30 seconds, seconds for three, three minutes. minutes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Depends on how you fit. Well, Four minutes to 20. Oh, it's three minutes. I don't 30 know seconds is a long yet. time, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if you're confident enough to do three minutes, do the three-minute video. Uh, but, yeah, two or three of them will do. So get, get your... Get your reactions in for us, guys. But thank you very much to Jared and Johnny T, who always Thanks, brings Sarah. entertainment. <laughs> me. Uh, and I much. will let you all go. But yeah, that's the reaction. Thanks very much. Burnley were unlucky in the end of the And I'll be on COD in five minutes. <laughs> See you in a bit. So, fun.